Crystal here from Crystal's Quail and Cocktails. I am doing bird rounds and I just watered the baby quail chicks and I thought I'd show you. Um, they're drinking from the nipple water. It's technically low. It should be um, raised up. I think I can raise it up one more click without it affecting the uh, lid to the brooder so I will do that and you can see the pine pellets in there have started to turn into sawdust tomorrow I am cl uh, cleaning out my chicken coop so while I am doing that I will scoop out the wet part underneath of the water it's not that bad yet so the birds are getting big enough to where I'm gonna have to come out here and refill their water twice a day feed they are still feed in there I'll still be able to do that only once a day <clears throat> so if you watch my last video I'm not exactly sure how many I have in these bins but it's close to 20 per bin I don't like to go over 20 and I'll keep the birds in here so sometimes I'll move them out at three weeks, but it's February, so it's too cold for that in Maryland. So I'll keep them in here till four weeks on heat. Technically at four weeks, they can be moved out without heat. However, since I use the reptile lamps that I can sit directly on top of the hardware cloth, I will use those reptile lamps. I'll put the birds in the top cage of the um, the quail cage so I can put the heat lamps directly on top of that to give them some space so I don't do that for every round of chicks really the ones that hatch out early in the season just because it still gets pretty cold at night I think it's gonna be in the 20s tonight so I just wanted to give you a little peek inside the brooder so you could see how everyone's doing everyone looks great um, the birds are feather flexible. Anyone with speckled chests are girls. Anyone with solid chests are boys. I will be keeping everyone, um, I'll be keeping all of the girls and then the appropriate amount of boys. So I typically do six girls, one boy in groups and or 12 and two as long as the boys get along. And if they grow up together generally, generally they do but <clears throat> once they get old enough to be able or large enough it's really a, a size thing um, I'll put bit, bits in the boys noses and move them to a separate area to grow them out for meat so that's usually around six to eight weeks depending the, on the amount of light I do start lighting my birds because I want these birds to be laying eggs by April 1st, which is around and about when my first customer opens for the season. So um, the area that I keep the boys in is a separate thing that I built and it's far, like a decent amount away from the aviary. So. Hopefully they're not like hearing the girls and then they're not crowing that much. Um, so that's my reasoning for it being further away because the girls will make sounds to attract the boys and the boys will make sounds to attract the girls. So, and the boys can be a little noisy. Um, it's not too bad, but if you have an abnormally noisy boy which I did once and he crowed quite a bit and annoyed my neighbor um, so he had to go but otherwise I have not had problems and I've been doing this since December 2019 at this point it, he was just one exceptionally vocal male <laughs> um, but if you give the boys enough girls they're generally pretty happy and not too noisy. All right. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday.